What's up, people? You know how... I don't know if you know how. I know how, so I'll tell you how. What? I've always... Always. I've said for many years that if I ever get married, before I do, I'm going to make sure that I own a motorcycle, and I'm a motorcycle rider, which I've pretty much always been since, like, age six, so that my wife sort of knows, like, it's part of the package, you know? Um... Because it's a lot of, I know a lot of guys that get married and then they want to get into bikes and the wife is just like, uh, no. And I'm not trying to say anything against ladies or anything like that. But I already, you know, my dad hooked me up with the motorcycle. So there was actually one other thing that I wanted to make sure I had before, yeah, we became a married couple living together. So I've taken care of that. <laughs> oh yeah, I finally got an arcade cab. Woohoo! I know. So much for suspense. Wait, what? Oh right, this one. Ah ha! Ah ha! Ah ha! Ah ha! Ah ha! Sorry about the reflecty light, but I can only do this at night. I'm kind of busy in the daytime. So, yeah. There you go. This is a little loud, but I didn't want to open it up and mess around with the volume anymore because I like it where it is for playing and it took me two days to get everything all set up just right so I'll try to tell this story and be you know no I'm not going to leave that there obviously it's a bit topsy turvy but you know for effect <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry um, so this is a new Astro City the light, by the way, needs to be replaced. There was no bulb, but that lights up and it's all pretty and shiny. I have this sticker on there. I got that from Ken, some numbers after 6275, maybe. Anyway, Ken, like that guy. I'll put a link in the description. <coughs> um, when he sent me my uh, console-ized MVS, which I still haven't shown because I want to do some stuff to it first. But, anywho, um, I have pretty much my whole life dreamed of owning... Maybe I should have turned the volume down. I'll just back up a bit. One of these. And uh, now I have one. Mm, I grew up with a pinball machine. We had uh, Captain Fantastic. And we used it a lot. You know? And just having something like this in the house, I think... I don't know. It's a thing I've always really dreamed of, and I did it. And I'll just tell you. This cost me $400. $420, something like that. And then I had to pay shipping on top of that, but I shipped it, you know, within Japan, so it wasn't too bad. It wasn't cheap, though. Um, and it's, you know, it's seen in better days. It's funny, it reeked when it got here of cigarette smoke. That's why there's this axe here. <laughs> um, but there's this no smoking sign on the back. So I don't know what the story is, what, what all this, art, this cabinet's been through. But, you know, it's a proper CRT, the monitor, there's no burning, it looks like. Um, I haven't noticed any so far. 29 inches of goodness. Scan line, goodness. This is Metal Slug 3, obviously, running. Um, buttons, though. Oh, right, so this is a Gemma machine, but it came with... Actually, the guy shipped it to me. I said $400. He shipped it with these games. Let's see if we can get to see him. King of Fighters 2002, King of Fighters 98, King of Fighters 95, Samurai Spirits, and Fatal Fury Special. Garo Densetsu Special. Then all those games, plus in it right now is, uh, what is it, Super Street Fighter 2 X, uh, the Grand Challenger or something like that, which I was playing and getting beaten badly at yesterday. And one other, where is it? Oh, I don't have it. I thought I had it to show you. Mm, one other um, CPS2 board, which was Vampire Hunter, which was, I think, Hunter or Savior, can't remember which, which was awesome because... I had it, but it was dead, like it needs to be phoenixed or whatever. So, you know, cool. I'll show my CPS2 boards probably in another video because there's a story behind them. But they're big and green and they're, they're awesome. Right, so once again, unable to stay on the topic. Obviously, this is also a preview of my, well, my main game room. I kind of have two. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go there right now, but I'll let you see that much. I'm, I'm working on it right now. Obviously, I had to get stuff out of the way to move this in. It's quite large. What can I... I don't want to talk about the game room. That's another video. So, another story about this... Gosh, it's loud. Um, is... Backing up some more. <laughs> more, more, more. 
story about this is I can't take this volume, it's so loud. Mm. So yeah, I bought it and the, the dudes who brought it it was like these two skinny Japanese guys, which the Japanese part doesn't matter, but they're two skinny dudes, and something this big and heavy, you obviously put it on a dolly, and you strap it down on the dolly, and it, you know, the dolly should have... Hi, look, it's me, hey. Um, it should have rubber tires, so that it can have, you know, shock absorption and all that, and they only had to come down one flight of stairs from the elevator. But no, they just decided to carry it, because it's got wheels on the back, so you can move it around on flat surfaces. They just decided to carry it, yeah. And they banged it against the stairs a number of times, basically dropping it, but only a few inches at a time. And then, at the bottom of the stairs, the dude in the back, he literally fell down, and the thing almost fell on top of him, except I stopped it from falling on him. And so I said, yeah, it might be broken. But, uh, you know, I just couldn't believe it. I probably should say something, but we'll see. Anyway, so when I got it, I thought it didn't work. Um, I plugged it in. I don't, I'm just learning about this stuff. And I plugged it in and it was getting power, but no, nothing was happening. And I looked all over the internet and then I discovered like a dummy, there's an extra power switch and they both have to be on like the inner, inner one in that door there and the outer one. So I turned that on and then, Hey, hey it worked. And then there were some issues with the sound. Um, because what am I trying to say? Um, 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 yeah, there was a loose wire. And also, MVS isn't exactly JAMA, it's really close, but there's some slight differences. So, it comes with this adapter, or it came with this adapter, like I said, in all those games. So I got seven games, and I got the, the board, the MVS board, which is a tall one that I, you know, anyway. And, uh, the, the, the A board, the motherboard for the CPS2 stuff. And it took me a couple days, but I finally was able to get the Neo Geo stuff working. These button, this button layout's kind of ugly, and I can replace the buttons, you know, throw in some better stuff. Sanwa, Samitsu, whatever. I'm still learning all this stuff, right? But, um, I do kind of like this design where, because this is meant to be for Neo Geo and JAMA games, yeah? But Neo Geo's just got the four buttons, but it was wired so that this was one, two, three, four. And so I actually opened this up and just rewired the buttons so that these are the Neo Geo buttons. And what else? Um, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, this coin thing, it needs a new coin shoot uh, cover, um, which is a part I reckon I can buy in Tokyo or online. But um, I'm gonna leave the coin thing turned on. So when I play it, I have to spend 100 yen, which is basically a dollar for every game. And all the money that goes in there, and there, it can hold a lot, will go into a separate savings account that I'm going to open, and I'm just going to leave it. Because I spend a lot of money on video games, but this way, when I spend money to play, I literally, it goes into savings, and that, the only rule really for that is, other than it's savings, is it won't be spent on anything like gaming. It'll be maybe, yeah, it's, well, it's savings, right? So, I'm doing pretty well. I've already got like 20 bucks in there in two days, because I've obviously played it a lot. It's my new baby. Um, what else can I tell you that's interesting maybe nothing yeah i'm looking forward to kind of pimping it out a little bit at some point but right now i'm just happy everything works um and that's awesome uh, it didn't come with the up here there's a, supposed to be like a marquee holder i guess it's called a thing where you can put in the game info depending on what game's in there it just didn't have that and then on the back there's a panel and that's just like a, a removable panel and it just wasn't on there the thing is, the seller didn't put that in the description. I think he's a bit of a rookie seller. Doesn't have a very high sort of ranking as far as like points go, you know, when you sell. But uh, it wasn't eBay. But anyway, I just can't complain, you know, because I got it so cheap. And it came with all these games. And he did his best to try to help me get everything figured out. His, you know, I don't think he's very knowledgeable, obviously, about this kind of stuff. Because I knew more than him and I don't know much at all. But he did do his best to explain, and ultimately it did help. So, um, this massive TV, I might as well show you now. I'm planning to get rid of this. It's a 36-inch widescreen. It's, I've got this off because I had something plugged into it. But it's really a nice TV. I only paid $30 for it because in Japan, most people are just getting rid of, or have gotten rid of by now, their CRTs. But then it cost 70 shipping, and I almost killed myself getting it in here. I mean, that thing is monstrous because it's so wide, yeah? But 
uh, wife and I have agreed, and I mean, I'm, I'm willing. I'm, I'm throwing it, well, throwing it out. If somebody wants it, they can have it. But anyway, I'm getting rid of it. And this was hers. I'm keeping that. And then I've got another one about that size. It's, it's already starting. It's got like, a, I guess you'd be, you'd be burning right here. It's just not a very nice TV. So I'll get rid of that to get some space. And then, anyway, probably maybe this stand will go too to someone. And I'm planning to put something else in this space. So stay tuned for that. That's actually uh, being prepared for shipment now. Obviously, games, games, games. But again, it's not about the game room. It's about this. I can't remember what I... I yeah, like I said, I thought the sound was messed up. But it works well. It's mono, but it's two speakers anyway. And then I've got back here. You can kind of see I've put a subwoofer and then stereo speakers. Just, a you know, a computer thing uh, back there. So for games that can do stereo out, basically all the CPS2 boards, as far as I know, the ones I have, um, you can just run an uh, audio cord out. And so those have stereo, and those, they sound really nice. But, I mean, I'm not really that fussed about it, to be honest. This sounds good. It's got the two speakers, and it gets plenty loud. And I need to get a little stool to go there. I've just been sitting on my dining room chair, which does work, but I want to get something more gamey. <laughs> Uh, wife hasn't seen this yet. I just told her I spent a little money and I got something massive, but it's something I've always wanted and <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> and she's like, uh, okay. But like I said, I'm getting rid of this and that actually takes up more space. So yeah, hopefully someday she'll even play with me. Well, hopefully she will. Just not on video. <laughs> what else? And then grub gun. This is for you, buddy. This is not the clean version. This is the I've been moving boxes back and forth version, but um, it's uh, not hard to move this stuff. Basically, I've just got it stacked up. I'm planning to put these drawers, do a little before and after here as a bonus, put these drawers of games uh, probably right there. The, oh no, I think I put them in the back there. I haven't decided everything yet. But <clears throat> And then some of these boxes are just going to be you know too much, so they'll have to go in another room. Uh, but I have that other room as well, so, you know, and we're going to get a new bed that has storage underneath the mattress, so that, <laughs> that'll actually make a lot of extra space, so that'll be good. And what else? What else? I don't know. That's more than I was going to tell you anyway. Uh, uh, <laughs> this stuff I'll cover when I do finally do like a tour of the game room, just a little before and after, I guess. This is part way there moving stuff around. In that closet, there's, it's all game stuff. It's more big, bigger drawers like this with consoles and things like that. Up above, a little peek. It's just all, I've shown this stuff before, you know, in different videos, but I need to do one video of a dedicated tour of this room. So I've just waffled on long enough with the really loud sound of the game playing in the background. So yeah, I, you know, welcome me to the arcade club, I guess. And, uh, if you are willing to offer technical support, because undoubtedly I'll need it. That's not even a word. Undoubtedly I'll need it at some point. Please put it in the comments. Hey man, if you got any questions, just hit me up. Because I've got Burning Toys and uh, Ken that I can talk to about this stuff. And a few other people I imagine I could ask. I don't know if they'd answer. But if you're one of those guys who knows about JAMA, JAMA, however you say it, and MVS and such like, stuff like that, uh, just uh, let me know. Because I probably will have questions at some point. I already have a question, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, I've got my 500 yen. This is about five bucks set out here. I'm going to play a few games and then get back to moving stuff around. Sofa is coming tomorrow. Um, and that's just awesome. I'm so excited. I've been living without a sofa for months, actually, because, you know, the transition. So, Oh, and one other thing. People are saying, man, you're getting all this stuff, but you're leaving Japan. Uh, yeah, I did make an update, but I don't expect people to watch every video. I'm planning at this point to split my time between Japan and the U.S., so there you go. It, it's complicated, but that's pretty much what I'm planning to do, and we'll see how it goes, and we'll reevaluate. So, Metal Slug 3, everyone. There you go. Mmm, scan lens. Yummy. Super Grenade! Super Grenade! Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye.